We continue now with a story that will have you shaking your head. Thousands of dollars in high-tech equipment stolen from a paralyzed man in Portsmouth. And the stolen items, he says, isn't the stuff he needs as much as it's the stuff that keeps him happy. Penny besides Aisha Tolliver now with a pretty cruel crime, Aisha. A car accident 12 years ago left Brandon in a wheelchair with only limited movement in his arms. But with that little motion, he was able to do what he loved, create music. That was until someone stole his production equipment and televisions, which he says has taken a lot of joy out of his life. Uh, if you're going to rob somebody, rob somebody that can defend themselves or something. I mean, they take advantage of somebody that, that can't even do nothing. You know, I mean, I have to have help to do everything. Brandon McCaden is a quadriplegic who lives alone. He depends on an at-home nurse to help him with his daily tasks. But he says his love of music keeps him pushing through life. A couple of weeks ago, after getting home from having surgery, he took some of his prescribed painkillers and fell asleep. But when he woke up, his laptop, music production equipment, wallet, and even a pair of shoes were gone. I'm like... Oh, man. I just put my hand out like this and I sat there for some hours. McCaden says he'd left the windows open that night and believes the thieves got in that way. He says the scariest part is how close they got to him. It freaks me out that to know that somebody came through my window, walked in here, walked in my room and was standing over top of me while I'm asleep, folding my computer down. McCaden's neighbor says she was shocked when she found out. I think that's pretty disgusting that somebody would come in. I don't think they could get any lower than to come in and to steal from a paraplegic. She tells me the one thing he needs right now more than anything is the joy back in his heart. And this is really, I may be depressed, but I, I just don't know what to do. McCaden says he wants justice, but most importantly, he wants to be able to create music again. Portsmouth police are asking anyone with information to call police. If you're interested in helping McCaden raise the money for new music equipment, you can find out how on wavy.com. Aisha Tolliver, 10 on your side.